Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Monday, August 24th. It's the Feast of St. Bartholomew the Apostle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 67, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 1 through 11. And please join me in singing the doxology to Psalm 95, to the tune of Pure Nobis. All praise to you, eternal God, and Jesus Christ, our Savior, Holy Spirit, three in one, our light and our salvation. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, be merciful to us and bless us, and shine the light of your face upon us. Alleluia, Psalm 67. Please recite it with me. Alleluia, be merciful to us and bless us, and shine the light of your face upon us, that your way may be known upon the earth, and your saving health among all nations. Let the people praise you, O God, let all the people praise you, let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you shall govern the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Let the people praise you, O God, let all the people praise you. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and you, our God, shall bless us. You shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be merciful to us and bless us and shine the light of your face upon us. Hallelujah. A reading from the first letter of Peter, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. Now, as an elder myself, and as a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as one who shares in the glory to be revealed, I exhort the elders among you to tend the flock of God that is in your charge, exercising the oversight not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you do it, not for sordid gain, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those who in your charge, but be ex do not lord it over those in your charge, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will win the crown of glory that never fades away. In the same way, you who are younger must accept the authority of the elders, and all of you must clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another. For God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Discipline yourselves, keep alert. Like a roaring lion, your adversary, the devil, prowls about, looking for someone to devour. Resist him. Steadfast in your faith, for you know that your brothers and sisters in all the world are undergoing the same kinds of suffering. And after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, 
who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, support, strengthen, and establish you. To him be the power, forever and ever. Amen. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O merciful God, shine your light upon us, that we may see your face and that your way may be known in all the earth. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forever, amen. Alleluia.